and sinking intro now. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, we'll figure this out. Yeah, I've um, owned a lot of cars in my time. But there's one that I'll never get rid of, and one that has proven that it can get me anywhere I need to go. Here's how I owned the same car since 2012. Not too shabby. Now do we do this without a hat? Ah, it's so long enough. Stand in the sun in a black shirt and jeans, that was a great idea. Not. Oh god, I'm driving to a ditch. I still had the wheels cranked for the intro. <laughs> Alright, let's get off this dirt road and then maybe you can hear me. So. I don't even know if we ever synced audio. Let's do that real quick. There we go. I don't know what good that'll do me. I'm going to have to hunt that audio down. Oh well. I'm going to ramble a bit. It's going to happen. There's a bump in the road. We'll get out here on this stretch and then I can just focus on talking, not well. Yeah. Corners and stop signs and grizzly bears and avocado toast. We can't, nope, can't let it distract us. Did you guys see the car wash video? I bet it was exhilarating. He used the brush! What an asshole! He's a jerk! He doesn't care about cars! He's scratching them up! Don't use the brush! Anyway, in December of 2012, I purchased a car. This car. This car has never failed to get me home. And I know it's not the most exciting thing to everybody. It's not, you know, a 2,000 horsepower GTR. But most of us, and I do mean most of us, need to just go back and forth to work. We don't... We don't have that luxury of, I'm going to go daily drive my quarter million dollar GTR, Supra, you know. Yes, those cars are amazing. Those cars are beautiful. They're fast. But they're expensive. And most of us don't have that kind of money to sink into a fun car. A car to where we just go to the track. That's it. No, I know, deep down, I could take this car across the country and make it back. And if it doesn't, I've had this car since 2012. I know almost every part on this car. There's some that I haven't touched because they're not broke or they're not giving me any problems. So why take it apart? So... How did this car from Chevrolet as a retro Suburban, because I believe it was 49, 
I'm sure the comment section of the five people that watch this video will be like, no, he's wrong. Oh, I'm not even in my county anymore. <laughs> this road's pretty though. Well, let's just adventure out a little bit. Now we're going statewide. No, my county line's like right there, so. Yeah. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So in 2006, or mid 2005, however you want to think about it. GM released this car. It didn't have a big ad campaign. It had Andy Dick doing random commercials, and it's just... There was no real ad campaign for this car like there was the Cobalt. And the Cobalt. And... I don't know. It sold very well, and then it just died off. It was just... People just thought of it as another novelty vehicle at the time, because retro was very heavy at the time and hatchbacks weren't too hard to find wagons were plentiful somewhat but i'm out here now Ugh. let's go this way and the concept cars there's that full panel that has, it looks almost like a Nomad. Gorgeous car. There was a NASCAR that had a small block in it. It was rear wheel drive. And let's face it, people cannot drive rear wheel drive. So the marketing aspect and the cost was not going to work. This would have been a $30,000, $40,000 car as an economy wagon. Or a sports van in some states. I haven't figured that one out. The window switches. Who thought it was a good idea to put the window switches in front of the shifter? What? I didn't like the leather interior, it felt cheap. I didn't like the tan interior because these seats are black and they show everything. They are constantly awful. And if you try to wipe them down, they get water spots, they get stained. It's not perfect. I put running boards on him a while back to alleviate the common problem of the front tires, if they don't have mud flaps or running boards or anything, the front tires stick out to where they throw gravel into the back door. The cons, the exhaust. The flex pipe falls off. I'm trying to come up with a better solution. It doesn't matter if you go stainless metal it doesn't matter the flex pipe's gonna rot off or break whatever my other complaint is lower control arms if you haven't watched Aaron's video on a a h did it YouTube or his Instagram I've been following him for a very long time and this man knows the ins and outs but we will all agree that those lower control arms those ones that I replaced in the last video are awful. Absolutely awful. It's almost too much to work to replace the ball joints, but it costs more money to replace the entire thing. And then you have to make sure you have the right control arm or the right ball joint on the bottom like this. And then the SS is like, meh. They're very close. So you might not even get the right parts even though they look the same, blah, blah, blah. Get calipers and double check. I've heard a lot of people have problem with throttle bodies. I don't really have that problem. Mostly I will take some CRCs, some throttle body intake cleaner, hose it out, you know, while it's off. I'll give that a quick white spray and wipe down. It builds a lot of carbon, dirt, dust. I'm running a very short ram air intake, probably not doing anything, it sounds cool and that's all I care about, I just wanted to be a little kid again with a loud car, before the exhaust falls off, because then that's not on purpose, that's just annoying. And let's face it, you're a cop magnet. 
So if I edit out everything, I will come back to this. The exhaust, particularly the downpipe, awful. All these cars. Any Ecotec engine, they rot off. Buy a good one, buy a quality one, and you'll be good for a couple years. Lower control arm, same thing. Buy good quality ones. Don't watch my video for any instructions because... No. I will say... What else did we have wrong with this car? Oh, the window switch. Okay, in 2009 to the end of the production, so 2011, they took a general... Now, I ordered this. I ordered another one. Apparently, it was for a Silverado, which had a slight blue tint to it, not the teal. And I know, blah, 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 whatever. But if you're OCD, that different light bugs you to no end. But for some reason, when I went in between window switches, I lost control of my back windows. Like, I can roll them down from the driver's seat. Nobody else can touch their windows, except the passenger. And then intermittently, your window just decides it's not going to roll up because of the switch. So, maybe being in the biddle was a good idea. Maybe they get water on them. The mirror switch doesn't work either, which is right in front of it. These are all simple fixes. You'll also have noticed that I never turn the fan off. That's because that switch is broken. The inside of it melted. I don't know how. I don't know. I thought I fixed it. Now it's stuck on. But I'll take it. I'd rather it just be on all the time. Other common issues? For a long time. A very long time. At least half a year you would go out to work. Leave, go to leave work or go to work. You got one headlight. I have not figured out what does that. I don't know if we just got a background or what, but I replaced every bulb. No, I can't say that. I replaced my headlights, taillights, and fog lights with LEDs. And if you get on Amazon, you go to Tech Max. I've had these headlights in here. They're super bright. You'll need to adjust them so you don't blind people, blah, blah, blah. Where am I? I'm out here now. What, what's this road? So... Switch them to LEDs. I've had these in here for... Ow. Ow. Four years. They're still going. And this is through freeze... I mean, absolutely, like, negative 20. These things would pop on in the winter. You know, all the way up to triple digits in the summer. LED tech... LED headlights and taillight bulbs, and fog light bulbs. Tech Max. I want to go down. No, that road's pretty boring. Now, for the license plate lights and the side marker lights on the front and rear, I purchased, and this was a big purchase at the time, I don't know how cheap they are now, Sylvania Zebo LEDs. They have all... They're all still working, and those have been in longer. I'd say five going on six years. Now, I had to run resistors for the taillights and the turn signals, and the turn signals are Zebo LEDs as well. I had to run resistors, which was a very easy thing to do. You look up a million videos online. You cut a... I believe you cut the ground. You splice it in. You can do it. I believe in you. So, I think I knew that guy. Good guy. If it was him. If it's not, I don't know that guy. So, my good... I haven't touched this AC since we bought it. And I know what you're saying. That's not the most important thing. Well... When you live in Ohio, it is. I need a good heater and I need a good air conditioner. You need good lights and you need dependability.
You know what? You really gotta take the back roads sometime. These little small towns are amazing. They have some of the best gas stations too. Good little eats. Just do the back roads. If I was gonna... Now it's all wonky again. Now it's 55. <laughs> we were already there. You're going to jail! Anyway. Probably not even recording it. Where are you going, phone? I think I slung you around too many corners. That's an interesting road. This is what it's like to drive with me. And Babel. Now I gotta make a hard right. I'm gonna lose my phone. Which means I'm gonna lose my microphone. Hey. Oh, don't go down! Okay, there was a pond back there. Alright, that bug was a little firm. Didn't even explode, just ricocheted. What are you eating? Concrete mix? So I think my biggest gains on this car are, one, it has never left me behind. This car has chugged itself to absolute death and has gotten me home. And I can't say too many new cars that would even have a light on the dash without just completely having a mental breakdown. My phone's falling! You were perfect before. Now I gotta fight you and drive down the road. Now both my hands are off. Where are we? Where? Okay. Why are we over here now? Oh, Alright, just stay there. We're almost done. And then we got some B-roll to film. And then we gotta go edit for the next 1500 hours. All in all, this 2009 Chevrolet HHR LS 2.2 liter automatic has been the best car I've ever owned. It is not a race car. This is a to work from work car. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun in it. I have an absolute blast in this car. Is triple digits possible in this car? Yes. Do I know that from personal experience? We're gonna edit that out. Not a race car. But it's enough to make somebody that wants a race car happy. Oh my God, it fell. All right, we're just, yeah. We're almost back home. There's Washington Fire. Why didn't I put it there to be... Nah, it's probably in the way now. Whatever. We're almost done. If we're still recording. If you find one. Check the bottom for rust. Especially around here. Salt Belt, Northwestern, Ohio, Midwest. Whatever you want to call it. We have rust. It happens. It's not a death sentence. But, if you do have one of these cars, take it to the car wash in the middle of the winter. Blow out the bottom from salt. Well, that was a pretty nice setup. Winnebago! Buy one of these cars. I'm not sure about high mileage. This transmission, I beat the absolute crap out of. And it's done great. I don't know about manuals. You'd have to ask somebody with a manual, like... These little economy cars are great. Are they perfect? No. Are they going to do everything a 2,000 horsepower GTR can do? No. But, I can put 8 foot 2x4s down in here. I can use this thing like a truck. I can blast this thing through the snow and ice. With the proper tires, of course. I can back and forth to work every day. I can go on vacation. I can support families. I can do a lot with this car. And now we're at 160,000 miles. 
Anything that breaks on this car, I'm fixing. Because it has given me so much in the last 10 years. But this car being built in late 2008, next month, this car will be 15 years old. And that's crazy. I don't know where the time went. I don't know if we were just busy figuring life out and going to work and school and marriage and life and death and stuff like that. This car has gotten me to my own wedding, family's weddings, friends' weddings, friends' funerals, family's funerals. You know, the car has done it. So I'm going to end this part of the recording. I want you all to have a beautiful day. Don't let the bastards get you down. I'm not very focused right now because I'm focusing on driving. I want to do a good outro, so I might try this again. Go live your dreams. Don't get hung up in all the negativity in the world. If you were entertained by this video, consider subscribing. You don't have to, but I like seeing that number go up. It makes me want to eat my cornflakes in the morning. Might put some marshmallows in there. I like the crunch. Why'd you wait so long to pull out? Now we're doing 50 in the country. I can't live out here anymore. Anyway. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good cliche stuff, and who knows, we might have more reviews to do, because there's always more cars out there, and we'll see, do you, do you like the reviews, do you want to just see me struggle to work on stuff, do you want to see music, do you want to see, I don't know, just, didn't I already pass that guy? Comment what you think you would like to see from this channel. What's entertaining? What's your highlights? We're still trying to shape what we want to be. And... Pretty soon this is going to be my full time. So... This was... Me driving through the country giving you a review on a car that you might not ever buy. I hope it was entertaining. I hope the editing was good, and hopefully not in the too distant future because winter's coming up. We can get another video out and I can entertain you again. That sounds wrong. Why are we driving so slow now? All right. Well, it's time to go home and record this and make sure it doesn't look like crap. So, have a beautiful day. Don't let the bastards get you down. And I'll see you in the next one. Is this a funeral? What are we waiting on? I was just cruising out in the country and you just... Oh, man. Probably not. Because I got the fan going. Because it doesn't shut off, which is part of my problem. Good old stretch of road I don't have to stop on. Now yeah, let's go this way. Somebody had a good time out here. After I get all that done, will you stop? Jesus. Where'd that go? Okay. Why'd I put everything up here? I got a whole hatch. Now, oh, this isn't terrifying at all. I can't see anything around this corner. There's people like me out. All right, we might have to stop and put that shit in the back. That flying around every corner ain't helping me.